In this lecture, we discuss basic relationship between pixels. So let's get started. Neighborhood, adjacency, path, connectivity, regions, and boundaries. They are all the basic relationship between pixels. First, we discuss neighborhood relationship. A neighborhood relationship have three types. First is an 4P. Second is an DP. And third is an 8P relationship. So first we discuss neighbors of relation and 4P. Any pixel P, X, Y has two vertical and two horizontal neighbors given by X plus 1 comma Y, X minus 1 comma Y, X comma Y plus 1, X comma Y minus 1. So I made this coordinate system for your better understanding. As we know, in the coordinate system, we write X plus sign on the right side, X minus sign on the left side, Y plus sign on the upper side, and Y minus sign on the lower side. So we just have to add one in each neighbor after the sign. It may be plus or it may be minus. So in this way, these uh, four neighbors are made. So the set of pixels are called N4 neighbor of P and it is denoted by N4P and in table form it is represented like this. In the center we have to write X comma Y because it is a coordinate system or relationship between X and Y. And uh, on right side X plus 1 comma Y on left side x minus 1 comma y on upper side x comma y plus 1 and on lower side x comma y minus 1. Next is neighbors of pixel and tp. Any pixel p x comma y has four diagonal neighbors given by x plus 1 y plus 1 x plus 1 comma y minus 1 x minus 1 comma y plus 1 x minus 1 comma y minus 1 so this set is represented by ndp in coordinate system as we know we have to write plus sign on right x minus sign on left y plus on upper side and y minus sign on lower side and uh, we just have to add one after each variable and uh, in this part we know plus and plus so after the sign we have to add one one and uh, on this side x minus is present so after minus we have to write one and uh, after plus we have to write one and uh, in this part as we know in both x and y have negative sign so we just have to write one one after minus sign and uh, in this part y is minus but x is positive so we have to write x plus 1 comma y minus 1 so in this way all these variables are written in the form of ngp so in table form we write in this way and the last type is neighbors of pixel and 8p so the sum of uh, NDP and N4P is NDP. So NDP and N4P are together known as eight neighbors and are denoted by NDP. NDP union N4P equals to N8P. So in table form, we ha just have to write first uh, NDP neighbors uh, that are x minus 1 comma y plus 1 on the upper and lower side in the center we have to write x and y and uh, upper and lower side and on right and left side we have to write n4 neighbors and in this form an 8p table is formed So the next relationship is adjacency. When two pixels are connected, if they are neighbors and their gray level satisfies some specific criteria of similarity, then they are adjacent. So for adjacency, there are two conditions. First, they have to be neighbors 
and second is their gray level have to satisfy some specific criteria of similarity and after these two requirements they are adjacent for example in binary image two pixels are connected if they are four neighbors and have some value of zeros and one let v a set of intensity value and we used to define adjacency and connectivity so uh, we have suppose uh, v is a set of intensity value and uh, it is used to define the adjacency and connectivity in the further examples in binary images v is equal to 1 because it refer to adjacency of pixels with value 1 but in grayscale images uh, we can get any value from 0 to 255 so we could be a subset of any value in 256 values so in grayscale image the idea is the same but we typically contain more elements for example v is equal to 180 to 200 value set if the possible intensity value 0 to 255 V set could be any subset of these 256 values. So next relationship is adjacency. So here we have three type of adjacencies: four adjacency, eight adjacency, m adjacency, and m adjacency is also known as mixed adjacency. So let's discuss all these one by one. So what is for adjacency two values p and q with values from v are four adjacent if q is in the set of n for p so if q refer to the set of n for p when p and q are two values of v set and then it is known as four adjacency so what is 8 adjacency if we have p and q two pixels with the value from v set and uh, q is in the set of an 8p then it is known as 8 adjacency so what is m adjacency or mixed adjacency if two pixels p and q whose values are belong to v set are known as m adjacent if q is in form and 4p q is in and dp or the set and 4p intersection and 4q has no pixel whose values are from v set so after uh, these three conditions we can say the set is in m adjacency or in mixed adjacency form m adjacency is a modification of 8 adjacency introduced to eliminate the ambiguities that often arise when 8 adjacency is used so it is a way to make path connections more simpler and it eliminate the multiple path connections here we have example of a binary image in which pixel arrangement for v is equal to 1 in binary uh, we already discussed uh, the value is 1 for pixel arrangement so uh, the arrangement of pixel is in this form and uh, if the pixels are connected in a diagonal form uh, as we can see the red line is a connectivity and it is making a diagonal and uh, so this is called 8 adjacent but uh, in white line we can see there is a simpler relationship and it is simpler path and uh, it is known as m adjacent so path relationship path relationship is very simpler concept as uh, we can see four adjacent is known as four path and uh, if they are eight adjacent so they are known as eight path m adjacency is m path so number of pixel involved if uh, x0 y0 is equal to xn and yn then the path is closed means starting point and ending point are equal then the path should be closed so set of pixel link in some adjacency definition are these
So what is connectivity in the pixels? Uh, suppose a subset of pixel in an image and uh, P and Y are, uh, we can say P and Y are connected. Uh, if they are in asset and uh, if there exists a path between them, consisting entirely of pixel in s for any pixel p in s the set of pixels that are connected to it in s is called connected component of s if s has only one connected component then it is called connected set so what is region a connected set is also called a region Two regions, let Ri and Rj, are called to be adjacent if their unique forms are connected set. Adjacent region or joint region. Regions that are not adjacent, we call them disjoint region. And four and eight adjacency is considered when referring to a region. Discussing a particular region, Type of adjacency must be satisfied. So, um, to set their adjacency, they should have four and eight adjacency. And uh, the set they, they are not adjacent together, they are known as disjoint regions. So, here we have an example in which uh, Ri is the first region and uh, R2 is the second region. They are starting from uh, bottom of this line so two regions are adjacent if eight adjacency is considered so one and one that are a uh, dashed line uh, they are making eight adjacency so in this form two regions are connected together and they are making a region Boundary. Boundary is the last basic relationship between the pixels. So the boundary, border or contour of region R is the set of points that are adjacent to the points in the complement of R. So here we have arrangement of pixels of an image and uh, zero are adjacent and uh, making the outer boundary and uh, these ones are making the inner boundary around this pixel 1. So the outer boundary is a background and uh, the inner boundary is a forehead of an image. So this is the concept of boundary in basic relationship of pixels. I hope this tutorial will be helpful for you. Thank you for your time and if you have any doubt about this topic please ask in comment box.